Narnia type restaurant that will leave you wanting more. Hello everyone, welcome back to Food Review Club. This is gonna be a very, very sexy review. We're at a lamb restaurant on Coventry Road here in Birmingham and already I've got the holiday vibes going on. This place is like a slice of paradise. I can't even describe it. You walk into the initial restaurant, come out to the back garden, there's a massive bench, come into this sort of like uh, rainforest style gazebo and up the back there you've got a shisha with the beautiful hanging plants, little pods. This place is a slice of heaven, honestly. And then you get to the food, Callum. This, my friend, is just the starters. We've got like this mixed platter, shark samosa, dynamite prawns with that bang bang sauce. These here are a signature dish. And then we've got the theatrics, the dry ice, just in case you didn't feel you were at a performance. Everything about this place already feels high end, prestigious, fun, relaxing. Let's hope the food stacks up now, Callum. We've got ourselves a couple of little mocktails as well that came with a little dry ice stirring. Maybe because can I do yours? Yep. Look at this, look, dry ice. It's the small things, isn't it? Here we go. <sighs> Sensational. Now, Callum, enough with the theatrics. Let's eat. I'm excited for this. Now, this is just a start, bro. Are you excited for this? It's a lot of food. It's a lot of food. I've got to go in for these to start with. How good do they look? Dynamite prawns, bang bang sauce, fusion, sexy food. What a romantic, clean flavor that is. Now, bro, we've got quite a lot to get through here. First up, we've got the lamb chop. Look at that. That's good. All you lamb chop lovers out there, what are you saying? We've also got this like couple of little sauces here as well. Let's, can we just go straight in for it, shall we? Sorry about that. Absolutely delicious. I cannot believe. Oh my god. Spicy, delicious. Wow, kofta. Let's try and rip through all of this, bro. I nearly dunk that in the... Uh... Yeah, don't do that. This is beautiful, mate. We've got this like, sort of roast tandoori potato. I heard this place was stunning. Trying the food, full of flavor. Wow, that's gents. That spice is really building on my tongue. You can see the flavor that's been impregnated into the chicken, that sort of marinade into the meat. Super moist, packed full of flavor. Come on. Wow, loads of other stuff here, green wings. Look at this. Look at this. You know it's nice and cooked when you, just, you can just like thumb the bones out. I've thumbed a few bones in in my time, but never out. Oi, oi. I chuffin love this type of place. How can you not? Full of flavor, packed full. It's like it's been cooked with energy. It's been cooked with intent. Here we go, spring roll here as well. Let's finish off on the... Vegetable spring roll. And last but not least with the starters, we've got this. Was that a shark, a chart, samosa? Samosa chart. Samosa chart. An absolute delicacy. Oh my God, look at it. Here we go, here we go, look at this. Oh my God, one of the most exhilarating most flavoursome, freshest, clean things I've eaten in the last, God knows how long. We've got chickpeas, 
sauces, sweet, savoury, I've got textures, that samosa, my god, that is one of these rare occasions where I would describe something as a wonder product, breathtaking, mm -hmm. and this is only the starter, mains to come, what a way to start. Right everyone, the mains have turned up, and rather than me waffling on what we've got, Hi guys. Do you want to tell everyone what we've got here? What, what um, we, uh... So, we have uh, a jari gosh, so a jari lamb. Yep. Um, it's a curry, it's one of our signature dishes yep. and one of the biggest sellers that we have here. It's a curry um, that we use a jari spices. Yeah. So when you go to a restaurant, when you order, you pop the dumb, then you get the pickle. The spices that are used with the pickle, yep. that, those are the spices that we use in our curries and it gives you a really nice tangy and spicy taste when you taste it. You won't have tasted anything like this before. And you were saying that it's nearly as good as your one that you Yeah, make. like I'm literally You're probably the, the best Ajari gosh maker <laughs> in the world, you know. So it comes very, very close <laughs> yeah. to mine. Therefore, I give it the stamp of approval. Yeah, good. There we go. And we've got the biryani yes. as well. So we've got a special biryani. Uh, in our special biryani, we have um, lamb, we have chicken and we have prawns. And um, it's served in the way that it would have been traditionally in India and Pakistan with a yep. boiled egg on top to the Maharajas, the kings and queens. Now, I, uh, I think you, you, you heard me struggling with the spices in the start, didn't yes, you? Yes, yeah. You came running over with some water. I was like, oh my God, are you okay? Look, it was a little bit more punchy than what I probably used to, but you've, you said there's a reason for that. It's because you want to keep yeah. it traditional to South, South Asian yeah. cuisine. So all our food, we make it authentically. Just like you would go out in Pakistan or India yeah. and you'd eat there. It's the exact same experience. You're not yeah. watering it down no, for the no. British market. So we do offer you yogurt. We've got mango lassi <laughs> as well if you know you are struggling. You and we do, if you'd let us know in advance, we, we can change it. <laughs> but we want people to experience yeah. the true taste of South Asia and like the street food and the actual food because it's got... The spice is not overwhelming. It's Oh, it was, it was it's delicious, really, really but good. it definitely... Uh, it definitely caught me off guard. It's all right, we've got water. You said, that the, you said the mint sauce has a bit of a skin. I thought, Jesus Christ, that mint, <laughs> that mint sauce has got me. The mint sauce has got me, but it is homemade, that's why. And so you'll see in South Asia, we like our spice. Yeah, well. It's not a secret. I can, I, it, just from having the food already, I can tell that you guys love what you do, and it shines through in your food. So let's eat some of this, and yeah, we'll, we'll have some, we're probably going to have some desserts rocking up as well, oh, aren't we? Don't worry, the desserts are going to be spectacular. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so yeah, much. Well. There's only one thing left to do, and that's to, to uh, Dig in. Is the oh my god, that's hot. Ah! Peshwari naan. Here we go. Oh my god. Let's have a look inside it. Oh, look at all that sweetness. The sugars. Nice glaze on top. Wow. Here we go. Biryani. Now, this um. So when you go out to place like this, you can pick up this unwritten unspoken energy and vibe around the place. This feels like, to me, really fun, friendly atmosphere. Hearing the, the lovely lady talking about food with such passion, I love it. You can tell that rubs off, like, you know, it's just, I get it, I'm on board. And here we go, it looks rich. And if it's got that sort of pickle zest in it as well, that she's, that she's talking about, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. Didn't she say it was like the, the pickle that came, comes with poppadoms? It's the same, yeah. same yeah. kind of spice. Here we go. Let's go straight in with the curry. Here we go. It's got that look about it, hasn't it? Yeah. I've never had a curry like that before. Ooh. Hold on. It's now coming through. Wow, that's fantastic. De uh, wow, that's breathtaking. So, okay, let me talk you through that. The balance of that flavor in your mouth is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It's sweet. The lamb is tender. And it's got this pickle tang that equalizes the sweetness and sits on your tongue. Very silky, very smooth. That's quite a romantic flavor. What a superstar dish that is. Christ, let's try some biryani. Here we go. 
Wow. Instant, instant heat, instant warmth, completely and utterly breathtaking. Let's try some of the naan. Oh man. Oh my God. Oh my God. That Peshwari naan is sugary sweet. Hot and crispy on the outside, like every sort of good naan bread should be, it has those qualities. And it has that <clears throat> sugary kick in the middle, coupled in with that tangy lamb. Wow, there's something about South Asian cuisine that has another gear. If you're driving a car where most normal foods have six gears, seven gears, this has 15. At a level where you think you can't go past it in your mouth in terms of flavors, spices, profiles, balance. It just is fantastic. And these guys have smashed this out of the park. And just like that, dessert is served. This has been honestly such an amazing experience today. Um, now we've got Arabic tea, Callum, which is tea with cinnamon, cardamom, a few other secret herbs and spices. Herbs. Apparently it's good for dry, I can definitely smell, hold on, I'm an expert schnoz on the, on the, on the go. It smells a bit like mint as well. Um, apparently it's good for dry, for, cut a bit. Oh, don't. Oh, wow, yes, <laughs> Apparently, it's good for, di <laughs> for digesting your food. I've gone food drunk. All of that curry, all that f***ing delicious food. And he's sworn now as well, first time in the video. Wow. Is that not scalding hot? It's perfect, bro. I can see the steam coming. It's perfect. Sweet too. Now, Callum. Oh. That tea is ridiculous. Now we've got this sort of panna cotta cheesecake, which looks absolutely divine with the pairing Moven pick, and we've also got a sexy chocolate cake down the front there. Christ, look at that. It does look good. You would have that for breakfast, wouldn't you, mate? I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not a big fan of chocolate, chocolate cake. cake. No. Uh, well, look, with the tea, I think it could be an absolute showstopper, but I'm sorry to do this first. I have to go in for the Moven pick. Swiss chocolate. Bro. That is so good. The fact they're selling Moe from Pig ice cream with the desserts kind of summarizes this place. No expense spared. Grand, elaborate, and downright tasty. Now look, this bad boy definitely needs trying. On camera that is. Oh, let's go, let's go down the side. Rumor has it, these are the same cheesecakes they're selling in Selfridges, Manchester. Am I in a good mood today or is everything amazing? Not overly sweet. It's very Moorish, not too rich. And yes, you've got that sort of strawberry, fresh, oh, fresh fruit element to it, which brings that sweetness. This place has blown my socks off. Smell it. it, smells good. I, c I wish there was a smell o meter because that tea is mental. I actually feel like this is the exactly the sort of hidden gem that you wouldn't come to if you didn't know about it. I highly recommend you put us to the test and you come and give this a visit. You've got tango ice blast, shishas, tropical gardens, a fantastic menu, and yes, the, the food is on the mid to upper scale price wise, but so is the service and so is the quality, so I don't mind. You can't take from both hands, you have to take it and give at the same time. And you're getting back in return a great venue, great service and great flavors, which you foodies I know absolutely adore. Callum, time for a score. I'm gonna give this today a score of 9.5. 
with flying colours, big merits, a Narnia type restaurant that will leave you wanting more. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Please do so, give us a thumbs up. Get in the comments now and let us know where you're watching this from. Did you enjoy the video? What would you have changed? Let us know because I'd love to get your feedback. Um, thanks for watching everyone. For now, that's a review. People licking your lips, checking the dips. We're checking out the best of the bunch. So you can get your best breakfast, dinner, or lunch. It's Matt D and Jess coming with the food review. We've been traveling, trying to find the best foods for you. Yeah, now that's a review.